Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. So we are going to install Core AVC in Ubuntu Linux, right? And um, now, why do we need Core AVC? Now, if you've got like loads of uh, high definition files, like probably 1000 NTP files in your hard drive, and if you use um, the Totem video player or M player or SM player or any other video player uh, in Ubuntu, you'll find sometimes if you have a low end CPU, not a high end CPU, but if you have a low end CPU, the video frames you know sometimes for a very fast action scene you'll find the video frame or, or you know very hybrid scene you'll find the video frames skipping or sh shattering you know something weird things happening so if you want smooth playback yeah, for high definition files in like Ubuntu or Windows you need Core VC. so we'll be installing Core VC now for that we need pre-compiled M player version which supports Core FEC by default that is uh, there are actually a lot of uh, ways of doing it if you um, visit ubuntuforums.org you will find there are you know, a couple of tutorials out there which will tell you to download the SVN version of mplayer and then compile it yourself but that's really a headache and I've uh, found a better alternative that is installing it via the PPA launchpad which some people have already compiled so we'll be using this RVM uh, this guy who has already done it so we'll be using this version of mplayer and smplayer that supports core pc okay first we are going to install mpc uh, mplayer and smplayer so just um yeah got terminal launch the terminal type sudo gedit etc etc app hyphen sources dot let you know my keyboard really sucks okay hyphen sources dot list and um yeah and just add these two lines over here right just add these two lines over here and once you're done that save it and um wow yeah and then type this key you know just type sudo copy this and type it over here all right just tap it over here press enter it will import the key and uh, authenticate this uh, PPA and then you can sudo uh, yeah just type sudo get update and after that you type sudo get uh, sudo apt hyphen get uh, install hyphen get install m player and uh, SM player. So once you're done with that, you'll have the latest version of M player and SM player which supports Core AVC. So we have installed that. So after you do that, let's move to installing Core AVC because we have just installed actually M player and SM player that supports Core AVC. We haven't installed uh, Core AVC yet. So now we'll be going first. Uh, you have to download. You visit coreavc.com. Download the Core AVC decoder. You buy. You have to buy the key, obviously, because this is uh, well. This is really cool. So you just you know purchase this. Uh, download the trial or purchase. You'll get a key, and then um, and then uh, let's install Core AVC now. So after you have uh, got that, you have to install the DSO server. So uh, repeat the same procedure. And uh, for Jaunty, Jackalup. If you're using Jaunty or if you're using Karmic, so I'm using Jaunty now. So just copy these two lines again and paste it to sources dot, dot list. Like I've already done that before, right? So once you've done that, import the key, type this in your terminal window. Press enter and then you will import the key and sudo get sudo app get update again. And then install sudo app get install uh, type D show server. Just type D show server that is the direct show server just type the d show server yeah and it will install the latest the version which supports uh, which connects core vc to your um, m player and then you just follow this procedure i'll copy it uh, in the in my description box as usual so just uh, first you download the core vc from the core vc website yeah you just, you just go there and download it and then um after you install the yeah, the thing is now after you have installed the DSO server let's register it you have to type 
this actually you just have to type this line over here yeah you have to type this line over here register correct from this to this and copy it and type it over here and obviously replace this 5555 core core with your original key that you have purchased then press enter so it will uh, after you're done with that you have to install the core ABC uh, yeah if you code code you see why the wine if it doesn't work then you have to install it on Windows XP or Windows Vista washing machine and after you install that you go to C program files core codec core AVC professional edition and you copy this file core AVC decoder dot AX yeah yeah but anyways if it works if you install it via the wine and if it works then you just have to type this uh, command over here and you paste uh, yeah just type this command over here and uh, uh, enter it that's it just enter it in your terminal window but if it doesn't work if it doesn't work that is the core AVC if it doesn't run core AVC uh, installer doesn't run um, in wine then you have to copy the core AVC decoder.ex and paste it if user lib win32 core a yeah user you just type to user lib win32 yes then after you're done with that that's it over your installation is over so if you're using M player then you have to remember to add VC hyphen VC core serve and I don't use M player much because uh, SM player which is the GUI front end of uh, M player I'll show you I'll give you a uh, uh, okay here I've got a 720p high definition video file so I'll just hold on it might not work because uh, I said I'm already recording this in high definition say actually this is the file over here wow it's working not bad it's not bad okay so here I uh, just click on the I file over here and you see the video codec over here it's core serve core ABC direct show H264 decoder and as far as audio codec is concerned yeah we're not concerned with that so let's go to options and view logs choose M player and here you'll find it using yeah force video codec as core serve using the 1.9.5 version so that's it